if you're a CEO, a minister, a prime minister, a president, a general manager, a senior manager, and you want to be successful in your job, you need to have political intelligence. Political intelligence is fundamental to success in the business sector. It is fundamental to success in the public sector. Without political intelligence, it is highly unlikely that you can achieve outstanding success in any of these roles. In this episode and in future episodes, I'm going to go into much more detail into what it takes to become a politically intelligent business person, a politically intelligent public official. We're going to go into the different categories and discuss each of them in detail. So what does political intelligence mean? Political intelligence in business and in public sector is based on two elements. Number one is about reading the political landscape. Every system is formed of people, whether it is an organization, a ministry, you know, a government, a department, it doesn't matter, they are people. And whenever there is a system and people, there is power. And that power is necessary to keep the system alive and to move it forward. So political intelligence is about intelligently and accurately reading the political landscape. Where is power located and how is it distributed and in which weight, in what weight, in what percentages. Once you've interpreted well the political landscape, we move to the second part of political intelligence. And that is about having the skills that are necessary so that you maneuver your way through that landscape. Why? So that you fulfill your purpose and achieve your objectives. What I'm going to do now is to go into more detail in discussing the elements of political intelligence. What are the skills that are required so that you read and interpret the landscape properly and you maneuver the elements of this landscape successfully. I'm going to start with the power dimension. Political intelligence requires that you read the power map. Accurately read the power map. What is the nature of the power that you're dealing with? Is it economic power, financial power, intellectual power, military power, relational power? What kind of power are we talking about? Knowledge, connections, access. So there are different kinds of power. So political intelligence requires that you learn how to read the map of all of these powers, especially the powers that directly or indirectly relate to what you're trying to do, to your job, to your career, to your mission, to your task. Political intelligence requires that you understand the dynamics between the elements of these powers. So in your system, as an organization or a company or a ministry or a government or the international community, once you've understood how power is distributed at different levels and within the different natures of power, now you try to understand the dynamics and the relationships between the elements of this power. How do they interact? What's the nature of their relationship? Is it positive? Is it negative? Where do they merge? Where do they conflict? Who is with whom? Who is against whom? 
What are the different interests? What are the different agendas? You need to understand the power dynamics. Regardless if it's public sector or private sector, regardless if it's business or government, or non-governmental, it doesn't matter. Wherever there are people, there are power. And power is never equally distributed. And within the elements of this power, there are dynamics. You need to understand where power is and what are the dynamics that govern these relationships. What is the nature of the relationship and how is it moving? Because it's always changing. It's never static. Political intelligence requires that you know how to deal with authority. So you've understood the hierarchy at its different levels because power is rarely, if any, equally distributed if we talk practically. And someone in that power constitutes the top of the hierarchy, the person whom we call the boss, the person whom has direct influence on your survival and growth, who has direct influence on your fate or the fate of what you're trying to do. The person who has authorized you to do what you're supposed to do. This is your boss. So political intelligence requires that you know how to deal with authority, to deal with the boss. And that is a complicated but fascinated subject, yet extremely necessary. Why? Because if you don't know how to handle the relationship with authority and the power it has, as the access to resources it has, then you've either put yourself in grave danger, professionally or career-wise, or in terms of the fate of the task that you're trying to accomplish, or you're missing opportunities. To do that, you need to understand your own history, your own baggage, when it comes to your relationship with power and authority. Starting from your early moments, when you were growing up in your family, and the nature of your relationship with whoever was authority in your family, to the school environment, to the professional environment, to the social environment where you belong. You understand that well, and you understand where your boss is coming from, and the universe of your boss, and then through political intelligence, you see how you can formulate and nourish and cultivate relationships that are beneficial to both sides. And that is serious political intelligence. Not doing that properly puts you at risk. Doing that properly opens opportunities for you. Why? Because of the impact of authority in our life, because of the access to resources that authority has and the power it has on us through our job and through the other aspect of the relationship. Political intelligence also requires that you connect to the different aspects of power beyond just the obvious hierarchy. Remember, we talked about different kinds of power, but there's still power. We talked about financial power. We talked about intellectual power. We talked about economic power, legal power, social power, physical power, you name it. To perform your job well, you need to not just understand all of this, but know how to connect with it beyond just the relationship with your boss or with your authority. Because you will need all of these elements so for you to survive and to grow and to succeed in what you're doing as a CEO, as a minister, prime minister, president, or a senior manager or executive. You need to know all of this. So understanding how to connect with the different kinds of power at their different levels of intensities is key to becoming politically intelligent. 
Political intelligence requires that also you understand the map of the stakeholders in your universe. And when I talk about stakeholders, I don't necessarily confine it to the power structure. Because for you to exist in a system, this system is interdependent. And every time you're connected to an element of this network that constitutes the system, you're connecting to a stakeholder in some way or form. So political intelligence requires that you map accurately who are the stakeholders without ignoring any of them. Because if you ignore them, then you are on the road to collision. And that doesn't help anybody. So the more you understand the map of your stakeholders, the better are your chances of maneuvering your way through them. The better you can cultivate healthy and productive relationships that will serve the purpose that you're trying to achieve and also serve their own purposes. Remember, you're all in the same system. Your survival and growth depends on the nature of the interaction and the relationship that you have together. And being politically intelligent, intelligent means you mastering this game, you mastering this dynamic so that you can use it to their benefit and to your benefit over the long term. Political intelligence also means knowing how to develop alliances. Regardless of the nature of your job, whether you are a CEO, a minister, a president, a prime minister, or a department head, CFO, COO, head of HR, doesn't matter, supervisor, you can do it on your own. You need people to help you, not help you on the personal level, but to work with you so that whatever you're trying to do succeeds. And one way of getting that help is through building alliances. And that requires that you understand as part of your political intelligence how to cultivate and nourish these alliances, how to create allies so that you can have access to their resources, so that they support you when you need their support. And you support them when they need your support because it's, it's a transactional relationship. You help them in matters that relate to them, that are part of their interest, and they help you in matters that are part of your sphere of interest. And that is an art by itself. It's not an easy thing to do. But if you want to succeed as a CEO, as a president, as a figure of authority, if you want to succeed in exercising leadership, you need to master the art of creating and cultivating and managing the relationship with allies. Political intelligence also requires that you understand that the nature of reality means that you will have enemies and adversaries. These cover a wide spectrum from passive aggressive enemies or adversaries or antagonists to the most extreme malevolent enemies. The common agenda that they have across the entire spectrum is either to slow you down or sabotage what you're doing or make you fail for whatever reason including that whatever you're trying to do does not fit or is aligned with their own interest or the interest of what they're trying to do. It is naive to assume that you can be a CEO or perform the role of a CEO or a minister or a prime minister or a president or a senior manager or do anything that's significant without ha having enemies or adversaries. Even for the most personal reasons, could be just personal jealousy. It doesn't matter. You will have enemies. If you can't handle this reality, then you are as far as you can be, anybody can be, from being politically intelligent. Because that's how it is. That's the nature of reality. So political intelligence requires that you understand how to manage this relationship between you and your adversaries for the first purpose of survival, so that you stay alive and you remain in the game, you're not neutralized 
whatever you're doing is succeeds or at least is not sabotaged and for the second purpose of succeeding of growing of performing the way you want to perform of delivering on your promises of achieving your purposes your objectives your targets so to do that you need to manage to know how to manage the relationship between you and your adversaries political intelligence requires that you know how to develop partnerships and partnerships are different than alliances a partner is somebody or an entity that has invested in what you're trying to do an ally is a relationship where both interests have intersected in some way so you exchange services to help each other there's no major investment it's just an intersection of agendas partnership is where others have invested politically relationships money intellect resources finances agendas ideas in what you're trying to do and that's a completely different level of relationship that relationship needs some of the skills that you need to build allies but it needs much more because the depth of the relationship and the nature of the relationship is different there's more intimacy there's more at stake there's it's a more organic relationship over a longer period of time so the level of intelligence and tactfulness that you need to display as you manage this relationship is different political intelligence requires that you understand the nature of power whether in business or in public sector to be politically intelligent requires demands that you know how to read the political map requires that you understand the power dynamics within this map requires that you know how to connect and deal with your bosses or the top of the hierarchy demands that you know how to connect with the other elements of power demands that you know how to draw the map the organigram of all the stakeholders that are part of your universe that you build alliances that you know how to deal with enemies and adversaries and how you deal and cultivate and keep and nourish relationship with partners if you know how to do that then you have mastered an important element an important dimension covered you have covered an important pillar that is fundamental to becoming politically intelligent and that will help you in your journey of success whether it's in business or in the public sector without that without understanding the universe of power that relates to your job or what you're trying to do it is highly unlikely that you will succeed in what you're doing and that the plans that you're trying to pursue and the objectives and the targets and the purpose that you're trying to fulfill will be achieved. Mm -hmm.